Hey, Zach here, Front Neck Outfitters. I'm gonna do a, a new series here called I Just Want to Paddle. Um, and what we're gonna talk about is different styles of paddling, what you can do to kind of get into them and, uh, and have some fun on the water. So today's episode, how to paddle white water, or how to get into paddling white water. We'll chat about a, a few things about kind of some, some guiding principles on, on what you can do to kind of get into, into white water kayaking. Um, or you know, whitewater canoeing or whatever, all these, all these guidelines will kind of work the same um, and what you can do to kind of progress your skill level to, to get to a place where you're gonna be comfortable running, running rapids. We're on our way here into the lower Madawaska. Uh, this is a, a great section of, of whitewater, you know, mainly class two, class three. Um, so fairly easy for, uh, you know, your, your more novice to intermediate paddler. Uh, it's gonna be a ton of fun. Uh, we're gonna have a great time, and, uh, and we'll talk about uh, some things that you should do to uh, to become a great uh, a great kayaker, so that you can enjoy running easy white water, or you can even progress your way up into running more difficult stuff. All right, let's check it out. So the first thing I think we're talking about is uh, with white water. What's your plan? Uh, and I don't mean like where are you going on any particular day. I mean kind of your your overall vision of, of what you see doing uh, in, in a kayak or canoe in, in white water. You know, it, it's, it's one thing to just say, yeah, I want to go and, and paddle white water um, without any realization of, of what's involved in it. Because um, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. It's, it's, it's safe, but it's definitely managed risk. Finding friends who paddle white water. If, if you don't have any friends that paddle white water, how are you going to find anybody to paddle with? Super important that you don't go out alone, especially when you're new. So I would recommend joining a club. Universities pretty much almost always have some type of paddling club, even whitewater specific clubs. Regions that have whitewater will offer uh, offer clubs. Uh, you know, in Ontario here, there's at least half a dozen of them in Southern Ontario. And, and it's a really, really good way to make some friends, get out and experience the water. The second thing I think that would be really, really important is, uh, is as you invest your money in the sport, uh, the first thing I would recommend doing is spending your money on a quality course. Go see the guys up at Palmer Rapids or uh, Madawaska Canoe Center. Uh, they will get you set up. They will, you'll have a great time and you'll learn a ton of stuff that is really going to set you up for, for success and that's what it's all about. Learning slowly and having fun. You're not going to come out and paddle the lower Madawaska your first day out. You might, but you're probably going to swim a lot. So I suggest, you know, take a course, start slowly, start at the base of rapids so that you, you can really progress slowly with it. Don't worry too much about learning a roll right away because that'll come with time. Um, but you really want to work on some, some really basic skills and, uh, and we'll chat about that in the next segment. For now, let's go paddle. What's the fun line here, Tony? Uh, the line just uh, just left with this pull over. You can see where the wave, first wave is crashing up. Yeah. That's a good splashy one. Another one is if you go diagonal, you just the left edge of that first uh, home pile. Yeah. And then continue left and get past that big wave at the bottom. Big wave at the bottom, you go through, but it creates its own hole. Afterwards, right. a little sketchy. Uh, left Pauline the other day.
All right, what about gear? Um, and that's a, that's a big conversation. Uh, you know, hopefully you've, uh, you've realized that you should probably take a course, uh, sign up for some instruction, uh, join a club, make some friends. Uh, and that's a really good way to start finding some gear. All the courses are definitely going to have gear provided for you. And that'll give you the opportunity to try some different designs. When we start talking about whitewater kayaks, I mean, there's so many different designations of river running, creek boats, play boats, squirt boats, down river racing. Uh, there's just the, the options are endless um, so I, I really recommend uh, you know talking to uh, talking to the, the, the instructor instructors um, to see what they recommend or you know if, if you've got the finances to buy new um, go to a, a good quality shop that sells white water because chances are they probably got an employee or two that's passionate about white water and on the PFD don't cheap out don't buy one that's 10 years old used and faded and ratty uh, a helmet buy a brand new one don't buy a used helmet uh, if you're gonna buy anything used the, the boat and the paddle um, but again it's like is it worth spending on a new one sometimes uh, if you can find a good deal on a used one that fits you uh, and is gonna be good for you then then that's a good investment if it's not gonna be uh, if it's not gonna fit you in paddles like then it's gonna be a waste of money is that kind of I remember rifle shoot I think yeah. it's, uh, big thumb, big wave, yeah and then there's another one that's kind of like a canyon on, is that after rifle shoot? Yeah, that's a split rock. Split rock. Yeah. Rifle shoot. Here we go! Some of the key concepts you're gonna wanna to work on, and I know everybody's always concerned about rolling, uh, especially a whitewater kayak. It's like, do you know how to roll? Can you roll? Uh, as a beginner, I wouldn't stress too much about it. You're gonna swim, you're gonna swim a lot. So don't stress learning how to roll. Focus on getting a good forward stroke. A good forward stroke will save you more times than anything learn how to good reverse stroke because that will save you and then the other one is, is bracing you know learn how to learn the balance of your boat learn how to brace it and other than that it's just, just getting out and having fun start slow uh you know there's places like uh palmer rapids uh minden and and just start at the bottom of the uh, of the rapids and just play with the current going back and forth and, and you'll learn those kind of skills and it's good to continue to progress with those types of, of skills in those environments to get better white wire paddling is definitely not going to be for everybody but if you do like sports like skiing, mountain biking, anything that kind of gets that adrenaline pumping, uh, I really, really, really recommend that you try Paddle Point because it is just a whole nother experience. It's a ton of fun. So please come try whitewater kayaking. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I've got tons of info and resources to get you started. Uh, lots of contacts and lots of friends. And we just want to see more people out and enjoying the river and having fun. Thanks for watching.